President Trump has signed a proclamation directing National Guard troops to be deployed along the U.S. border with Mexico. The president said last night that a drastic surge of illegal activity left his administration no choice but to act. Governors along the border support the move, but some members of Congress question it, and it's still unclear what exactly those troops will do when they get to the border. Chip Reed is at the White House. Chip, good morning. Good morning. This will be the third time a president has sent the National Guard to assist the Border Patrol, but the details are still up in the air, including how many troops and how long they will be deployed. The threat is real. Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen said Wednesday Guard members will be sent to the border soon. Department of Defense and the Department of Homeland Security work together with our governors to deploy the National Guard to our southwest border to assist the Border Patrol. But she could not say how big the force would be, when they'd be deployed, or for how long. It will be strong. It will be as many as is needed to fill the gaps that we have today, is what I can tell you. In a memo, the president called the situation on the U.S.-Mexico border a point of crisis and wrote that the lawlessness that continues at our southern border is fundamentally incompatible with the safety, security, and sovereignty of the American people. The Congressional Hispanic Caucus fired back, calling the president's actions unwarranted and saying they will ultimately undermine our military readiness. Federal law prohibits the U.S. military from acting as law enforcement. They cannot arrest illegal border crossers and can only act in a support capacity. Nielsen said the effort would be similar to a 2006 operation when President George W. Bush sent 6,000 troops to assist Border Patrol. In 2010, President Obama also sent National Guard members to the southern border. Senior administration officials said illegal crossings were at a, quote, staggering high in March. The urgency cannot, however, be underscored. It's time to act. It's not clear how many people illegally crossed the border last month, but Customs and Border Protection says apprehensions rose by 200 percent this March compared to March of 2017. However, for this year, so far, apprehensions are down compared to the same point last year. Chip Reed for us at the White House. Thank you, Chip.